I have flown from Chicago to San Francisco because my sister convinced me to come out for the specific orchid exposition. And I'm here on Thursday uh, before the gala tonight and I have volunteered for to help with ribbon judging. So let's see some quick peeks at uh, the displays. Uh, before I start helping with judging, I don't know um, who owns any of these displays, but they're large, very large, very floriferous compared to displays we have in Chicago. And oh, all the people you see in the background, those are uh, they're doing the AOS judging right now. So that's going on. This orchidarium is like really cool. I know they do it just for display purposes, but, but if I had this in my house, I would like cry with joy every <laughs> single day. Well, we live in a greenhouse. <laughs> is this yours? I built the case, yes. You built the case? And the hanging plants are almost all mine. Oh, look, oh wow, look at this. Look at that I, Dracula. I only, I only grow Draculas. And so, Let's see, Dracula, Del... I can't say any of these. Del Deltoidia. Deltoidia. Yeah. Deltoidia. That one actually is not mine and it is not as... That should have at least three times as many flowers. Hey. I mean, I these guys put out Chicago. lots of little flowers. I, I can't do anything close to this. Um, I knew a very good girl who lived out uh, outside of Detroit. But he had a greenhouse. He had a big greenhouse. This is a Stellis glomerosa. Yeah, no, I mean, I grow, I grow like windowsill. I don't yeah. have a greenhouse. Yeah, well, there's a... And uh, I have a little fish tank. Wow. I wish looked like this. <laughs> Here. Uh, Look at that. all these mass medallions. Oh, here. Look at that. Yeah. I really like the fogger in the back. Spewing. That fogger is easy. The fogger well, you buy at, at Walmart. Well, actually, I for my tank, I, I put in a red claw fogger so it had the hose. Oh, okay. So I could throw oh, it, this guy screamed it. it around. <laughs> he screamed it. We didn't do look this. at all oh, these did. mass medallions. Oh, look at that gravidea. You're not screaming this, too. Drink on my other hand. There's information on the pod. Perbians. No, okay. Can we even focus on some perbians here? It's right there. This is Dracula Orient Palace. Look at that. I only see that monkey face in there. This is Dracula Navorum. Navorum. Trying to shoot it through glass. Look at the Cymbidium Aerithium. I mean, the weather's much better here. I could never imagine someone growing something like this in Chicago without a greenhouse. And it's part of this table display right here. Orstadella, I can't even say it. Orstadella. Orstadella. Yep. Oh my gosh, I can't even get a good shot because it's so bright. I love the color of it. Oh, and that Again, you grab one of those and then you see these and you're like, I saw. Yeah, you know, oh, I got a spike and then you come here and there's like, like it's huge. I'm trying to back up so it gets me all of it. Look at that. Dendrochylum to now. Oh, yeah. Look at how many flowers are on it. Yeah, I have never, ever, after seeing all this, submitting any of my orchids for AOS judging. I just wouldn't compare. This is why we only, only award pass 
in Chicago because you could never grow anything with this many flowers. I only have nine hours of light right now. There you are. And that is Encyclia. I can't even say it. Chimbora zoensis. Oh, I love encyclias. That's probably what I'm smelling too. Chimbora zoensis. So Chimbora zoensis. That's from an area called El Chimborazo. I'm actually going to ah, in Colombia. In Colombia? Is this your display? Oh, <laughs> no. You can say everything. <laughs> Here's a maxillary and dress. I mean, oh my god. Oh my god, look at how many flowers are on this. This is the Trying to just pan all the way. Oh, it's so well. I mean, they must turn it, or it's, they have light 365 that goes all the way around. Look at that. It's not even directional. <laughs> this, this is a bulb of violet. Look at it. Starts down here, all in bloom. We go up, so we go up. A little bit of height. We keep going. It's not done yet. There's more. There's more. Oh my God! It's now, now it's done. Here's a dendrochylum parvulum right here. A little dendrochylum. From the Philippines. And, you know, let's see. Dendrochylum. Thanks. But, hey, look. That other telelanella wasn't impressive enough. There's a second one on the side. So look at how huge it is. And then here, let's try to do a pan of this display. You've got neos over here. Look at this variegated neo. So if you like foliage, this neo is really impressive. And there's a symphidium. Some Asian kind of soup. Soup? No, it's a gorgi. Well, the flowers are a little damaged. And then here's another variegated. Oh, that's a really good photo. And they're all classically meant. Look at how huge they are. I mean, my heels are so small in comparison. Look at how many fans are on each of these. I think I think this is a stage in this room. And it has a giant display on it. Um, and there's something, I think maybe it's Orchids in Focus is their theme. There seems to be these glasses everywhere. Here, look at these. This display. Um, these displays are so big, I'm having a terrible time showing um, more than just individual plants. Oh, hey, I saw this at uh, Batavia last week. Um, I think this is, they're saying this is Mega Clinium Purpura Orchis. No, I, th I think at Batavia, I think they called it a bulbo or something. I'll have to look back at my video. If anyone wants to leave a comment, correct me. And this Kingianum type, oh, the Maxillaria sanguinea. And this is Dendrobium ossicurae by Speciosa. You can really see Speciosa in there. I thought my Robbie McGinnis was really nice with like six spikes, but look at this. Okay, I think this has to be the largest polybulbum I've ever seen. It starts up here, and it's like a carpet. It's coming all the way down. It's coming all the way down. It's coming all the way down. All the way down to the ground, right here. And it's huge. And covered, completely covered in flowers. Here is the actual flowers. This is huge. This is gigantic. This, oh my, yes, definitely the biggest um, encyclia polybulbum I have ever, ever seen. So there was a long, several hour pause while um, I helped with judging. I clerked the judging. And um, all the plants have now wearing their awards, like this Dendrobium papillo.
I hope I said that correctly. It won the best androbium in the show. And look how gigantic it is. It does have two white bells on either side of it, but it is huge. And let us focus in. That is the papillo. So I helped judge Cataleas, and there's this um, Catalea um, Jungiana by Prestens. It got an award of merit, and it also took, um, I think, a best of class for. Um, they have three classes. They have like novice, um, amateur, and then I guess commercial. I'm not sure if it's amateur. I can't remember. Um, but there's this Jungiana, which very, very flat flowers. And look at this dendrobium cross. Um, so you can have two best dendrobiums again, again, because you have you have three um, classes. Uh, like I said, novice, maybe advanced. I think it's advanced. Sorry. And this is um, dendrobium king zip red splash. This right here has won the best pearl pearl ballad alliance, and it's a mass Vidalia Ignea. This is the best uh, path in show, and look, it's got a little bud here that looks like a, a baby. It's a path Fumi's delight. All right, judging is finally over. We had to vote for like best display, best um, various different uh, categories like species. And I love this Medusa. It is so cool. Now, many hours later, uh, we had to pick winning plants and trying to shoot the rest of the show. It's hard to see. I mean, the sun has gone down um, and it's dark. It's how it's dark here. So, not as good view of a lot of these. This is Botanicals display. I judged a bunch of his stuff. Um, Go, go on through. You sure? Yep. All right. I know you don't want a picture of me. Well, I'm not taking pictures. I'm taking video. <laughs> I like the color of this. We didn't award it. Oh, we did. We gave it a... See, there's my handwriting right there. We gave it a third. I'm sorry. Did you help him set up this display? You do it himself. He had to put the plant for himself, and then in the end, he just overcrowded it. I moved it to the. You couldn't even walk by. <laughs> the judges weren't too enthused about this one, but I love the stripes and flares on it. So this display from its yes. size is by the tiny jungle, which is one of Cinda's favorite um, oh, places plants. to buy orchids. You know, uh -huh. I, you can buy a one face book. Yeah. Um, and I've got 230. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. See. I, uh, because for me, never purchased from the tiny jungle, and actually, I don't know if they're in the vendor room because the vendor room has been a little overwhelming. I do like this Masvidalia. Look at how small it is. It is See if you can focus on that. There's my finger. I don't... Look how small the flowers are. No, no, you should keep it in there. There's lots of Masvidalia. We have our show in Napa coming up March 21st. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All the Columbia. Display for TNT orchids. There 
there are so many Australian and Romeo in the show. It's just amazing. I think I shot this display earlier, but I'm come back to it. This is by Ken and Amy Jacobson. San Carlos, California. Um, I know I talked about their um, Juliana by Chris Dance, which um, now was Best Catalea by the Dance Exhibitor. And there's a funky orchid. Um, I don't see a tag on it, so I don't know what kind of orchid it is. This right here. Um, so this is the best dendrobia by an advanced exhibitor. Uh, the I guess San Francisco Orchid Society has uh, a table where they have number sales, and there seem to be many, many divisions of this um, orchid here. It's zip something, and a little bit pricey for me. Also, a little bit big in terms of trying to get the stuff home in my suitcase but I'm so tempted to buy one. I just I love Australian type and drug Look at the pattern of this. For a thousand macrofuel, look at the flowers on this. Jungiana, very flat. Show from the sides, you can see how very flat that flower is. Oh, hey, San Francisco Bay, four thousand lions winner for this macrophylla. Lots of spikes on it. In comparison. Look at this Lelia Lindia. This display here is by this is Alan Koch's um, Gold Country Orchids display. And he has got a um, best Cafio Petalum Alliance, which was this path he used to like that I shot earlier. Yeah, I'm definitely going back there. They revealed who owns most of them. Oh, look at this. He got an award. Let's see, let's see an award. Of he got an AM for this um, Brasil Mesa Golden Stars, Vera. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Alright, I have to say, oh, whoa. Look at two more spikes here. Yeah, I wish I grew brassias well enough to get them right. warm. Oh, and look at this Arangus luteola. And here's his maxillary parabolus. Look at the flowers on it. Look at how many they are. Remember, I was just at the Tavia show where people had Variabilis and how much smaller their plants were. This display is by Half Paradise. A lot of complex paths in this. This display here is by Calvert. And they're the ones who have the Maclinium. Orchid, or oh, and there, look, this dendrobia, red as snow, also got an award of I love the catalayas like this, the Hepertonia. I don't know what this one is, but I 
to some uh, colors on it. There's a coastal sunrise pop So that is a little tag right here. Uh, Tropical Sunset by Laughing Boy. Tropical Sunset by Laughing Boy. Okay, so look at the color of this. This is Coastal Sunrise on a Chipotle. I think the other one that we just saw was also Coastal Sunrise, but it's like a pink. This is like a peach. The only Richard Mueller I saw on this show is um, Richard Mueller by Mossiers. The other side is Richard Mueller by Mossiers. And very rich red. Putting our star fire right here. This is Mary's Magic. some lavender gin now and I'm not quite as steady as I was before. And this is uh, Lelia's Splendid Spire by Elsie Rojo. I don't know what this is. Got Lelia in it and the tall spikes. Magnus Temptress. And these flowers and those are from the same plant. Quite clearly, given them all, these have more yellow than these. Some of the flowers are older than others. So, when I was in Costa Rica last year, um, I saw this, I think, the Dendrum Centradini. And of course, at the time when we were in Monteverde, they called it the Monteverde orchid. And um, of course, I'd never seen it in the States. And this year, it's everywhere. Um, it was for sale at the Tavia Show. And um, I, will s I see at least two of them here. So I don't know if I just never noticed it before or it's just uh, surged in popularity. That Medio Color for Stevia that I saw. Yeah, somewhere else. I can't remember where I saw it. But it's definitely an orchid, not just some random plant. Unless what I saw before was a different plant. And here, look at this Dendro Color with Zelly. Are they here? Here they are. What's up? I'm going to Wenzeli I now, and I hope I have both the red floor and the yellow. Oh, here's a member of the Bromeliad Society, and they're also at uh, the Pacific Orchid Expo. We have a Bromeliad display with just a couple orchids in it, mostly cymbidiums. And really, you never see cymbidiums like this in Chicago. More cymbidiums. I mean, it's really easy to grow standard cymbidiums in the Bay Area. I think they just throw them outside and they bloom and they grow. It's like perfect cymbidium weather. So I wanted to show off this Clawesia for Beckett Northern. It's just really surrounded by flowers. You can't see all the because all the ribbon that I'm now decorating it. Um, but that is just intense. That is a very intense Rebecca Northern. And it's part of this display by the, let's see, Mar 
women or could society? They had a lot of plants and uh, we came to here a lot during judging. I particularly like this uh, Tutankhamun. It's a really rich red color on it. I really like this Carpophila by Andy Perry. They also have lots of Sumidians. They had a huge number of pansies. Oh, look, this is a Trichophilia suaves. But yes, back up. It is like Lelia and Seps land here, right in the middle here. Lelia and Seps. More Lelia back there and Seps. More Lelia and Seps here, here. And they have oh, here's a Neil Stylus Pinky. Love Pinky. I want to be in this picture. Yes, we have to. I to my mom. Oh, mine bloom soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much bigger than my plant here. Look at how big that plant is. Mine's like a quarter of that size. And this is Campanol Orcus Globifera. Just an update on the biggest Encyclia polybolum that I've ever seen. So uh, it did pick up a certificate for merit, uh, 88 points. I believe they only gave it 88 points because um, literally this thing has got to be like five feet long. But it did pick up a lot of show awards, um, including uh, Cultural Excellence, Best Specimen Plant, Best Catalea Alliance, because of the Catalea Alliance. And you know, it's just a carpet look. They just laying the ribbons just sort of right on top of it. So, no, this literally, I think is the most impressive Encyclia polybulbum I have ever seen in my entire life. Not a lot of miniatures in this show. Um, they have this Dendrobium Pacificum right here. And I saw in the bedroom that there's just much bigger ones out there. And there's the Ranges Hyaloides. And there's this Bulbophyllum Reiki and there's this orthocephalus, let's see, Montagene, I don't know how to say that. Resinea undulifolia. But really, there's just not a lot of miniatures in the show. It seems most people here grow full size, really huge orchids. There's Testraspis. And hey, like I said, it's. Lily Ansep season, more Ansep, look this huge Anseps. There's a fair. This here is an orchid wall. And I am so jealous of it. But of course, I want a green wall in my house. And watering a green wall inside my house is like thoroughly impossible. It's so beautiful, I'm just wondering also. No, a living wall is great, but you got to have plumbing. Yep. You have to have plumbing to water a living wall. No, it's, it's a gorgeous wall. This is the best Cymbidium in the show. No. Look, patterning. And the Cymbidium. It's really tall. It's in this huge, it's in 
Bidium this morning. But this is eye level. So just know that this Cymbidium is taller than I am. Just gorgeous. Irony. Level. And this is an amethyst glossa on this table. And I'm basically now moving the camera above my head. <laughs> I love amethyst glossa. I wish it wasn't quite such a large one. Red it's a bigger one, though. Amethyst glossa rosy. Selling all those neos, but seed and gay. Oh my god, this neo is so to die for. This display with the coral macrophylla was by Equigena. Display in the round. It has the Ostolor Stella, the Aldemari at the very beginning of this area. Lower Stella, Pseudo, Pseudo Shimania. It was by Andy's Orchids. So let's just see if we go around this. Here we get back far enough. This display in the round by Andy. It is the one with the biggest bulbophyllum, I'm sorry, polybulbum ever. But, oh, and this is their kais, somebody's kaisis brachium. So my kaisis is like tenth of this kaisis size. It's in a gigantic hanging pot. Look at all the flowers on it. Someday, in a million years, my kaisis might look like this. Though, really, not in the next decade. So, we're coming around the polybulbum now. I have to say, I am really amazed. 
I'm not amazed. It should be amazed. I mean, this is like semi-tropical, right? I mean, they can grow all year round outside. But I'm, I just love uh, how big and floriferous everything is at um, the Pacific Orchid Expo. All right, every time I turn around the show, I see something else that I didn't see closely enough. I'm back at, I think, exhibit number one. This is video. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And I think this will be it. The video for me tonight. Because uh, I burned out the battery on my phone. So that's it from the Pacific Orchid Expo. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the orchids here.